Emilio. I'm from Fagfag. I live in, in this region, Arguni Kingdom. And we conserving this area. Uh, Tapurarang, ancient blood pain. This is what we we stay here. We with the community. We just uh, building awareness how to protect this as a part of our life, as a source of our life with the visit of the tourists. And we hope uh, tourists coming here to spread the word about this place, the beautiful of this land, the people, the culture. The nature, that is our life. So we live together with the nature. Uh, there are a lot of mystic things around here also, where the local believe that that is the nature is exist. Their ancestry there, like the uh, ancient blood painting you saw, uh, just so around. Uh, that's also, we believe that our ancestor has done that. And that uh, heritage passed uh, to generation to generation until now. So we have to conserve that, we have to guard that one. We have to take care of this uh, uh, heritage. So that is our life with the nature. We live with the nature. The beginning of happiness lies in the understanding that life without wonder is not worth living. Our journey has taken us deep into the heart of the Coral Triangle, 
where we were given the privilege to dive into turquoise blue waters, surrounded by lush green specks of land. The eyes are drawn to schools of fish swimming like living jewels over vibrant coral reefs. In places like this, one truly can develop a love for nature. Yet also, we bear witness to its fragility, for only a slim fraction of our planet contains the multitude of its species. It is humbling to swim in the presence of these gentle giants. Yet we must remember there is beauty in all creatures, both great and small. After bearing witness to this diverse spectrum of life, it is hard to return home unchanged. This is a good thing, for now there are a few more ambassadors to speak for Mother Nature. My name is Alex, my surname is Masue, 
Uh, I'm from Ali Island in Pacific Province, Papua New Guinea. In our island, we have five villages, and they used to do traditional dance in each village. Uh, the first village is called Malung, and the traditional dance is called uh, Alolol. I love wind climbing coconut. I'm a very good climber. And I am starving. I used to climb coconut. We eat. First, we are going to look for the coconuts. Then we, we spot one and we climb. My friend is, he went into the bush. Not long he bring the rope. Uh, the natural rope is to climb coconut. This rope is called panic. Uh, we are going to tie it on our legs and we climb the coconut. Uh, do you want to snap the flowers? This a uh, bougainville flower here. Yeah? New Guinea is a land born from fire and chaos. Incredible internal forces have forged this area for millions of years, with colossal parts of the Earth's crust diving beneath others, creating immense geothermal areas and pushing the ground towards the heavens. Situated on the infamous Ring of Fire, it sits in one of the most tectonically active places on the planet. The commotion of rumbling earthquakes and destruction from rivers of lava is interrupted by nature that is unrivaled anywhere else on Earth. Geology can be both strikingly beautiful but deceivingly deadly, but the harmony between the two can be humbling and inspiring. Us as humans long to understand life. We ask questions in order to comprehend natural occurrences that sometimes just don't have answers or that can only be described from within. Some things are better left unanswered in order for the mystery and wonder to remain. <laughs>